All right, checking in now with First Alert meteorologist Ray Petlin. We know we have another cold night out there, but things are sounding much better as we get closer to Christmas, Ray. Yeah, those temperatures are going to take off as uh, especially we hit later this week where 50s are not out of the question, but at the moment we're at 25 in Pittsburgh, and that's one of the warmer readings we have here. 13 up the road in Butler is what it feels like. 13 is what it feels like in Washington. Nine in Oakland. Actual temperatures are 25 here in town. Just because of the calm winds, we don't have a wind chill at the moment. 20 is the current temperature in Butler, 23 Greensburg, 21 in Washington. Now we have the clear skies overhead and these clear skies are going to stick with us. So lows tonight will fall off even a little bit more. We're going down to the low 20s, Pittsburgh, 18 Washington, 19 Butler. Uh, temperatures are going to be quite cold early tomorrow morning and just know any little breeze is going to make it feel like the teens uh, anywhere you are. Now highs tomorrow will get back into the lower 40s, so we'll get out of the 30s unlike today. So a step warmer and we're going to keep that warming trend going. By the time Friday and Saturday roll around, we're in the mid 40s. Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, low to mid 50s. Big time warm up coming up. So we have these clear skies right now after this morning snow and the clouds. It is finally cleared out. This is going to equate to some sunshine tomorrow before clouds return on Thursday. But I think the trend for warming is is going to be the biggest talker we have for you when it comes to this forecast. So we have the clear skies tonight. I think it's going to be quiet through the nighttime hours tomorrow. Sunshine after that cold start to the day. Uh, the sunshine will warm you up real nicely and then into Thursday we see that next deck of clouds come in, but our next chance for rain doesn't show up until Saturday. So tonight get ready for some cold temperatures. The skies are going to clear out. The wind should be light and variable, so there's not, there's not going to be a giant wind chill here. However, any little breeze is going to make that 22 feel like the teens, so it will be cold tonight and tomorrow morning. By tomorrow afternoon, we're going to get those temperatures back into the lower 40s. Mostly sunny skies, a nice mild day. But the mild temperatures don't start showing up until after lunchtime. So it's going to take a little time to build those temperatures up where we'll get that sunshine and those temps in the lower 40s. Thursday, the clouds return. We keep the temperatures in the lower 40s. Then we jump it up a little bit. Friday, you're looking at 45 degrees, more clouds and sunshine. Saturday is our next chance for rain, although I don't think that's going to be a washout. From there, our temperatures launch into the 50s. We're talking 50 on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, 54. A lot of people are trying to decide whether that's naughty or nice. The nice part of it, it's going to be dry the way things are going. Makes travel easy, especially with those warm temperatures keeping the snow out of the picture. But at the same time, the warm temperatures are going to make it too warm for snow and green and potentially muddy conditions around for Christmas Day. The next day, Tuesday, we keep the warm temperatures and bring some showers in. So just know a green Christmas is how it's going to go this year, but we have a frosty start to the day tomorrow. Some very cold temperatures. Make sure you check in with the KDK Morning News before you head out the door starting tomorrow at 430.